Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin is sounding the alarm about an uptick in the number of overdoses in the city. He posted on Twitter today that fentanyl contaminated cocaine in the community is to blame. CBS 42's Jen Cardone joins us live at the Jefferson County Department of Public Health, where they are making sure that the public is aware of what's available to prevent overdose deaths. Jen. Exactly, Sherry. And I actually spoke to the deputy county coroner this evening on the phone, who says that this is not a new issue. In fact, that fentanyl has been mixed in with other substances for at least the past two years. But what they do say is it does not take much to be a deadly combination. It is an extremely potent drug at a very small dose. Jefferson County Department of Health Medical Director Dr. Darlene Traffenstedt says fentanyl is 50 times more potent than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine. Someone may not be trying to get fentanyl or, you know, looking for fentanyl and be completely unaware that there's fentanyl in the substance they're using. She says everything available for purchase for recreational use could be contaminated with fentanyl. So right now, people who purchase a pill not from a pharmacy, like uh, from a friend or on the street, or people who purchase any other type of substance, have to make the assumption that there is fentanyl in it. Um, and prepare themselves and use it as safely as possible if they're going to use. Traffenstedt says Jefferson County is on track to exceed last year's death overdose numbers and that it was the worst year yet. Naloxone is a very low-cost public health intervention that absolutely saves lives. Now, the County Health Department does provide a free training online for naloxone and those test strips for fentanyl. You can see it right here on my laptop for work. We'll have a link to that over in the CBS 42 News app. Additionally, if you're someone who has substance abuse issues, I've got some information on how you can get help there as well. Reporting live in Birmingham, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.